Thank you to NTP for sponsoring this video. NTP are a UK leading online training provider offering training in driver's hours, transport manager CPC and many more. Check them out with the link below. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night you beautiful souls. How the devil are you? You join me in traffic on the M6 up by Junction 21. Or was it Junction 20? I can't remember. I think the junction's shut. But luckily we're going to 21A. Yeah, I hope you've all had a nice weekend. I hope you are enjoying life. I hope you are cracking on. I hope all your dreams are coming true. I hope the kids are alright, the grandparents are alright, the, the siblings are okay, all your friends are alright. Let's tip us go that is tarted up. You crack on stuff. So yeah, oh he's a wolf. So yeah, we're just making our way over the oh, farewell viaduct. Ah oh, no, correct me. Um on our way over to Liverpool, namely Bootle. We're not Bootle Docks. We're actually going to a place that we've been to before. But the place we went to, this this one, I don't think many people watched it because it was just a bit of a one drop wonder. Which it isn't today. No, we've got quite a busy couple of days ahead of us. Because today, we want to deliver a lift at a place that we've been to before. And then make our way over to Skelmersdale to pick up, uh, I think it's just one stillage, no, I need to check the paperwork. Pick up one stillage. Let's go down to HS2 in Houston. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, my, my stomach's decided to go. Yep, yeah, now's the time there, Sam. Yeah. Oh, that is very much bloked. I wonder what that is. That would be the reason for a lot of that traffic. What is that? No, yeah, maybe you know why the Junction 21, the A57 shot. Let me know in the comments. That was a shot last time I was up in. It's a new one. Unless it's an overrunning roadworks from the weekend. I don't know. I really don't know. So yeah, it's a bit of an awkward drop this one. It's not it's a roadside tip unfortunately, which is annoying. And it's not quite the rat run. That's what I'm going speed comes with the moffin. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. But why this drop is a bit significant for me is it's where I broke the Moffat. Okay, if you haven't watched that video, this is what happened. So there was a stuck valve, um, which got worse and worse and worse as I was getting through the drop. So the lever was getting more and more difficult to go. So on the Moffat, whereas usually you've got from left to right, you've got lift the uppy, and then tilt you tilt it on the Moffat you've actually got lift the up here and then on the next leave you've got any out e for the for the telescope and the forks and you've also got automatic widening and thinning thinning a word alright I checked there you go um, and then you've got tilt you tilt e side to side e and then I've actually got another lever for letting you go up you down it okay that is basically um that's the basic rundown of it. But the lever I was having the problem of was was the innie outie and the wide knee and thinning knee. So um so yeah, so I managed to nurse it through the job, you know, trying to not be too ham fisted with the damn thing. Um and I was just adjusting the forks back to put it on the back of the truck and I just got on right and then ping the lever snaps. Because there was so much pressure that built up in the valve, I couldn't move it. So, um, so yeah, so my boss was not happy about that because that was basically a Moffat out of action for a week. But yeah, I knew I was going to hit traffic. That's right, we've got 20 minutes leeway. I'll get the customer ring in a minute and let them know that, you know, I am on my way. I'm nearly to you. Just um, stuffing in a bit of traffic. They're generally okay. As long as you're not, like, you know, hideously hours late, they're generally all right about it. So yeah. So yeah, so that's the day today. Dropping Liverpool, Skelmersdale, 
um, and then down to Euston for tomorrow morning. Hey, just so we can. But luckily, I've got all the things working this time around. Thank God. So yeah, let's get it done. Ah, oh, oh. Alberum. <laughs> Says the boy who grew up in Slough. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's one of those places that's a bit like Southampton or Tilbury, sort of like dominated by the crane, like the dock cranes and stuff like that. So, um, it can be quite foreboding. So, last time I came here, I went that way. And then ended up at a left hand turn that I couldn't turn down. Good indication, my friend. So all I'm going to do is actually listen to the HDV sat there for once and um, see if that bears much more fruit. It better do. See how much it cost. Well, I don't get sponsorship. It's useless in London, it really is. You've got to know where you're going in London if you have a sat nav or not. Um, but there we go. Right, car's gone. Zeboom. Right, so, it's not that one. As I, as I said last time, it's still a bit of a rap run. You weren't slowing down for nothing. No details of me, nothing. Ah, here we go. Yeah. That worked out a lot better than the last time we came in. Oh, and, we were a bit earlier than last time. It looks like there's a fair few more places to actually moor up and do the job. Liners. Oh, Jesus. Actually, no, it's worse than last time. Yeah, it's more up here. The beacon's on. Try not to hit the post. That's it, yeah, I remember now. Because that, that, that course was there, which meant I have to leave this on a bit of a king. Let's tidy that up a little bit. I see it, I remember now because as soon as that Corsa left, I was um I was like, huh. You leaving would have made my job a hell of a lot easier, but there we go. So I'll be offloading actually on a level. Yeah, that works. Cool. Right, let's go find the people. I'll need to use their toilet as well. And um Let's get to here. Oh, we've actually done that. Three hours fifty nine. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I know we gotta get it. Well then, that 
gas out delivery completed. Oh, and I think if we turn left out straight out here, we get straight onto the 58, I think. Not straight on, but I think it's quicker than going the way we just came in. I think. Don't don't hold me to any of this. I could be completely wrong, but I did see a signpost. An encouraging one. So we'll get out of this road first. But yeah, not a bad job that, as I say. Been there before, but different engineer. But apparently the um, engineer that was here last time is now on holiday. Yeah, that's the engineer that I said a set of doors flying off the uh, side of the truck with, which he likes to remind me every single time I go there. I literally just got on the Muffets at that point. I didn't have much of a clue what I was doing. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Just out of nowhere. Um, yeah. No, I haven't been on the Muffets for that long. Yeah. Silly me. I don't even think the truck was painted at that point. That was ages ago. I mean, nearly two years ago, and he still likes to remind me of the fact. Oh well. Um, but yeah, right, now we need to look out for a signpost. Signpost! What do you reckon? Am I going the right way? Because that seems to think so, because it was originally turning me right, and the amount of time's actually dropped. Officer, everyone behave themselves. I think we got away with it. I don't know what we're going away from, but we got away with it. Mm. Yeah, which is good for me because that means I can go have a 45 and scale on the truck stop and maybe get a bit of breakfast. But yeah, getting there before 10 o'clock, mind. That's that's good going. We're doing well today, so as long as I can get out of there before midday, I can be done before 5 o'clock, which is good for me because I really want to wash the truck off. Oh, today could be going very, very well, or it's about to go very, very bad. Yeah. Also, another weird thing that happened. Bloody pole at the back of the curtain popped out somehow. So as I'm ratcheting it up, I'm thinking, why, are you, why aren't you tucking it? And I looked at the back, and I'm just sort of like dragging the entire curtain along with the ratchet. I was like, eh, eh, all right. <laughs> I don't know why it popped out, it just does. Wind and weather. Nice. <sighs> Should we go scammers now then and stop my absolute useless nattering? Ah. Onto my favourite ever industrial state in the world that makes no freaking sense. Pimbo industrial estate. Yeah. Why they designed I cannot. Uh, can somebody tell me why they worked it this way? It is just an absolute crap show. It is he just getting for it, like entering the place and perhaps starting to feel a little bit ill. I need to remember not to end up back on the M58. It's absolutely baffling. Yeah, there you go. Half hour. And then there. Boom. So yeah, I was going to pop into Skelmersdale, try to stop for a bit of break, but then I realised I'm saving up for a mortgage, so I can't do that. I actually have to wait one more with me. <laughs> well, I just got to remember where this place is. Shut up. Not sure enough is coming up behind me, because then suddenly the road does this. Looks like some people have accidentally got up there. Quite recently. Nice. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. I can't remember which turning it was. Was it this one or. We'll go for that one. Oh, yeah, I remember what the pot holds now. Basically, all good. Yeah, lots of things to hit. 
bits of things that stick out. It's just awful, not niceness. Funny man. Well, that tried to see better days. Jesus. I think it was half of Haters Fleet currently parked up. the fact of the boring sort of parcel force nature of Chris Hater, I probably want to have a job there because I do have some nice trucks. Oh, my boss is ringing me. I was getting loaded there, you might have seen me laughing. Um, I'm going to show you for now why. You've got to get good at reading upside down. This station was opened by Her Majesty the Queen 
on the 14th of October 1968. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Apparently this was made in China. As you saw, we're loaded. <laughs> Still getting over what I've got. Out of all the things that I've... All the different things, all the random things that I have hold and carried and distributed and offloaded and all sorts i've never had anything with the word queen in it as you know i did that job for long and don't worry over we don't talk about that but yeah gee. <laughs> christ yeah, i think i'll drive carefully with this one i wasn't end up in the tower oh dear yeah, he, sh he showed me it, he's just like Polish fan, he was just like, you're my friend, you will like this. <laughs> but yeah, you weren't wrong. Yeah, but I can get out of this yellow that's split here and half. Well, that'll, that'll be half the job, I reckon. The rest of it is just be, don't crash. But yeah, anyway, we should be back in the yard by about five past two. And then that'll be, well, say five past two. I might have a little something to eat on the way down. I'll have my lunch basically. Oh! Ugh. But yeah. Oh dear. God dear, that's awkward. Oh, I hate this industrial state with a burning passion. How the hell was I supposed to get out that way? Oh yeah, there we go. So it's that never saying, yeah, come out on that road. Uh, ow, was a fence. You dickhead. But yeah, as usual, um, cross straps, forward and back, through the four holes, and then one just over for safety. Always do that with stillages, always. No matter, I, I, obviously, it's only one piece of granite on that stillage. I bet it, it probably only weighs about 750 kilograms, if that. But, um, but yeah, like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Especially when I'm carrying something with Her Majesty the Queen on it. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> oh, the old man up with trumpet. I'm not going fast to you, mate. So you don't realise what I'm carrying. If you make me crash, I'm going to end up in the Tower of London being hung, drawn, and watered. I'm going to be like William Wallace. Just not wearing the gay skirt. Ah, and that's all my Scottish people should be <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I'm going to eat up. You're right. South Valentine's. We've been in the north for like two hours. That's, that's way too long for me. Guys, I can't decide. I can't decide whether I'm hot. I mean, physically, I know I am. Um, but I can't decide whether or not I'm hot or just cold. Now, I wanted to show you this video. I was hopefully there. Is that now? Aficionados, is that a VNL or an NH12? No, it's a VHD. There we go. Um, yeah, sorry, distracted. American Volvo. Um, God, I have a tongue there. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I can't tell whether I'm hot or cold. I mean, in the truck, right? It's 23 and a half degrees. Now, you stand outside, and as long as the wind's not blowing, you can stand outside quite happily in this bolo. But as soon as that wind starts, I'd be like, oh, oh, I was just getting diesel now. And um, yeah, I was starting to feel a bit uh, choppers. Because I was thinking, yeah, warm it up. I won't get my coat on, my fleece or my jacket, whatever you want to call it. My orange 
you don't know where you're going, love, do you? Um, my orange pedo jacket. But, um, but oh, Christ almighty, thanks for the indication there, love. Cheers, lovely. Um, yeah, my orange thing. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll regret it. But then obviously, I'll, oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Have some halogen. Screw you. Um, yeah, people keep making me lose my train of thought. But yeah, I was like, oh, oh I can really put, put my coat back on now, but I'm too proud. If I put it back on now, I'm going to look weak in front of all my fellow truckers. Now, are you going to go round the roundabout like an absolute tool? No, you're going to do it correctly. First day of the Easter holidays. Everyone's going away, aren't they? Problem is, nobody has a clue where they're going. Oh, this reminds me of last summer. Last summer, obviously, lockdown started getting relaxed and stuff like that, and every man and his dog, and this wasn't even during the summer holidays, like this is in June. Every man and his dog decided, ah, we'll hit the highways on a Friday. Fridays became in Possible. If I remember, I'll put a picture of a um, screenshot to, of a um, on Google Maps on one Friday. And at the time, quite right often on a Friday, I'll be heading back down from Sunderland. It would take all day, sometimes into the night. Now, on a normal day, I'm not saying a good day, a normal day, you could do Whittle back to my yard within a ship, a four and a half. Could you do it during that summer? Could you, do, could you bob it? I ended up in Oxford. Just like I have today. Now usually you can do Scamblesdale back to the yard within four and a half. Could I today? Could I bob it? So, um, so yeah. I mean, we're still going to be tight on time anyway, but I'm hoping to get today done at nine. Because it's Monday and who wants to use a ten on a Monday? If I go slightly over on the nine, I'll just do a printout and, you know, I'll use that as a done. If I have to use 10 to drink around the rest of the way, I'll just be like, yeah, no safe place to park up. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Don't do that, children. We'll make you go blind. Right, I'm going to get back. Hopefully, have time to wash the truck. Unless my boss has any other ideas for me. But I'll be out of driving time, so. Right, the truck's all washed. And my camera skills are still great. And also, I had a bit of a mad moment. Now, it's not perfect yet. <sighs> first pass over by hand because I don't have a dual action but not for too bad really it's still, still very dull and I mean lots of imperfections I mean lots of imperfections but we can um, she's never gonna be a show truck but truck post is coming yeah as I'm sure you all know by now a bit of an announcement if you don't uh, I'll be at truck fest with at least Will um, and Jono and our various partners in crime. Um, so yeah, I'll be bringing stickers. Um, I don't have any merch. Yet. Um, so come and grab a sticker and say hi. It'll be nice to see more of you. Anyway, in terms of this evening goes, I'm going to put my dinner in the oven. I'm going to get into that bed and then I'm going to die. Figuratively, not literally. Okay, anyway. Just see you in the morning. Good morning. Ah, London. Well, specifically, Euston. Nearly where we need to be already. Now, with that left hand turn audible warning, by the way, I've been getting lots of filthy looks recently from cyclists and pedestrians. Almost have to say, that's annoying. You people wanted this. You wanted this. But yeah. Feeling slightly under the weather this morning, I won't lie. I 
doesn't sound feel like 100% today. I'm going to burn the candle on both ends again. Put the truck to clean and then it rained this morning. Why do I bother? Why do I bother? And then yesterday, there's me trying to get hold of the guy on site to see if there'd be a forklift available. So I didn't have to take them off it with me. God wouldn't answer the phone, so I was like, well, I've got to take them off it with me then just in case. And um, the guy rang me back this morning. Oh yeah, there's a forklift on site. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for that. And you've got Pimlico builders just wrecking the Pimlico builders, Pimlico plumbers wrecking and just leaving this left hand indicator on some funny thing to do. But yeah, oh well. So yeah. Nah, it's not a bad side to get to this, and plus you miss all the traffic at Houston Underpass. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah. Not a bad morning, really. Plus I'm running like an hour early. For my delivery. But I was playing to the guy and I was like, look, I'm going to be an hour early. And he was like, yeah, no worries. Okay. He said, it might depend on the guy in the gate, but... If he keeps you waiting, he keeps you waiting. I was like, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's cool beans. So yeah, but we've only got the one still to come off as well, which is good. But unfortunately, I'll half film the offload. Sorry to say. Sorry to tell thee. To reverse down or drive down? Oh, yep, no problem. Anything for you. Somebody decided they didn't like the colour from last time we were here. So, um, so yeah, tear it all down. It cost millions. That's uh, that's HS2 for you. Still got it. Plus, this time apparently I don't need my orange trousers on. The last time I did, I don't. I can't wear that one out either. I probably have to put them on a bit, but I did ask the guy. Turn any more trousers in and look. No, you're okay. So yeah, just hard hat. But uh, some of the dust getting in. So anyway, this turned out to be quite a nice day. Right, 
let's get this done. Apparently, we can turn around here if we want. Left reverse all the way up. Leaving? No, we're not. I need a wee. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, I need to get behind that scaffold down. It's gonna fall over. Right That's why I had to stay at shunt then, because the forklift was in the way. <sighs> we out of breath. No, I do not have COVID. I got a test this morning. I do feel rough though. Thank you. Thank you! Yeah, I just really messed that up, I won't lie. <laughs> Put myself in a really wrong place. Yeah, right, window back up. God, oh, it's getting warm today as well. Which is good. But it's that horrible sort of warmth that you don't want. Apparently we are driving on a road. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be the part of the station at some point soon. Oh dear, well. Yeah, well, right, let's get ourselves out of here. We're we'll having to worry about a horrible banksman slowing us down. Yeah, big old project, isn't it? Oh, uh, Mr. Skanskavan, get the hell out of my way. I'm not places I need to be. Just gonna remain in my way. And nobody actually has registered that I'm here. <laughs> uh boys? Lovely, right, we'll leave her in first gear for a minute. Yeah, I don't know doing any damage. It's just one of those, there's lots and lots and lots of things to hit. No, Moffat didn't bottom out. Good. Ah. I rose me from what was that from? Easy, I move for us. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> what a nice band. 
Lovely. Right. We are out of there. Give me the list out. That's a pain in the ass to have noise ring. It creates a blind spot, I won't lie. But health and safety dictates I've got a habit. Oh dear. Yeah. Stop's bad, that's not too bad. They're all saying, you're late. Am I? Yeah, you're meant to deliver this in 1968. Ah, oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I was making that joke all day yesterday as well. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, so we have our orders already. We've now got to head over to Milton Keys now, pick up some plasterboard, which is not too bad. But unfortunately, I can't take you for the ride because I sold with delivering to, no, 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 no. I'm picking up one pack as well, like one of these jobs that really is an 18 ton unnecessary, but there we go, that's the way the cookie crumbles. If they pay for it, we deliver it. How much room do you want, Mr. Tipper Man? But yeah, so I'm probably just going to end the video here in view of the BT Tower, which never used to appear on Soviet maps, by the way. You know. Anyway, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Stay safe and stay well.